Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited to do this video. It's going to be very different because I've never really talked about things like this on my channel, but today I, I just want to talk about it. I'm going to be talking about the Mandela Effect. So for those of you who don't know what the Mandela Effect is, it essentially is when a group of people, like a lot of people, remember a specific thing happening or a specific thing like being a certain way, but then you look back and it was never like that. And it's called the Mandela Effect because um, Nelson Mandela, he was put in jail and everyone believed, everyone remembers him dying while he was in jail. There's a book called English Alive and it was published on October 1st, 1991. That's a long time ago, right? And in this book, I will have the insert here, it clearly states Nelson Mandela died. Let me read it. It says, Nelson Mandela died on the 23rd of June, 1991. That was written in a book. You can't write things like that if they're not true in a book. Especially when it comes to dates and people that are very like highly known. You can't really write that stuff in books if it's not true. So why was it written in this book if it never happened? And as you all remember, a few years back, Nelson Mandela did die. And everyone was very confused. They, they were all thinking, well, didn't he die like, I don't know how many years ago when he was in jail? Like people remember that. I even asked my mom and a few older people that I know and they clearly remember him dying in jail. They remember listening to it on the news. They remember seeing it, that he died in jail, but then he never did. So that is why this is called the Mandela Effect because, because of him. People say that the Mandela Effect kind of stems from us going into an alternate universe. If any of you have ever seen Interstellar, that movie is all sorts of crazy, it will mess with your head. But in that movie, he goes into different time warps and there's one scene where he's behind a bookshelf and he accidentally pushes a book and it falls in our time and we see that book falling, or his daughter sees that book falling. And people believe that the Mandela Effect stems from something similar to that, meaning something did happen but in an alternate universe, a little, a little thing changed and just with one minor change, our entire future is changed. People often think that we have switched into an alternate parallel universe where things are slightly different, things are similar, but there's just like little changes here and there. People think also that like maybe someone time traveled and when they went back in time, they changed something very minor and that little change will change our entire future. If anyone has ever seen the butterfly effect, it's something very similar to that. Um, I, I don't, there's nothing to prove this this Mandela effect, but it's, it's just like so real to me and to a lot of people that I've talked about this with, everyone believes in it because we remember certain things a certain way and why, why are we wrong when we remember these things? Okay, so with that being said, let's get into some Mandela effects that I've noticed that really got me mad because I remember those things being this this way and a lot of my friends, family, just people I've talked to about this, they remember it that way too. And that's what makes it so crazy is how did millions, thousands of people all around the world view certain things a certain way? Like we clearly remember these things happening, these things being written this way or like looking this way and then now that you look at it it's not like that um, I would I would understand if it was a few people seeing these things but it's a lot of people around the world so that's where everyone's confusion starts to come up and that's where I get creeped out so let's get into it the first one and the biggest one probably besides Nelson Mandela's death is the Bernstein Bears if you guys remember this I remember reading these books as a child. I remember going to the library, picking it up, like I really loved this book series and also I would watch it on TV. So I clearly remember it being written Bernstein Bears, E-I-N Stein Bears. Everyone remembers it. Ask your mom, ask your older siblings, your cousins, aunts, uncles, everyone who was around when the Bernstein Bears was big, they will clearly remember it being written Bernstein Bears. And it's not written that way. It's Bernstein Bears. It's A-I-N instead of E-I-N. And that's no, <laughs> no. I, like right now that I'm saying all of this, I'm envisioning the book 
and I clearly remember picking up the book and I can see, I can visualize the font and like the lettering and the way it's spelled. I can remember it being Bernstein Bears. And now people are saying, even the creators have said like, no, it's always been Bernstein Bears. No, it hasn't. No, it hasn't. Ask anyone around. They remember Bernstein Bears. So oh, that really annoys me because that's like something that I used to read a lot. It was never AIN. I can visualize the book right now and it's not AIN. Next Mandela Effect, Kit Kat. I clearly remember again with Bernstein Bears, I can visualize the packet of Kit Kat. And it has always been K-I-T, Kit, dash, Cat. It has never been one word, right? Wrong. Wait here. So I have here a Kit Kat bar. My little gave it to me last night. Kit Kat. It's one word. How? No, I remember. I clearly remember it being Kit and then a little dash in the middle, Cat. And it's now Kit Kat and... Um, that really annoys me. Oh my god. The Mandela effect gets me so heated because... Ugh. So, when I saw the Kit Kat didn't have a dash, I went on Google and I searched up Kit Kat. I searched up vintage Kit Kats, like the first Kit Kat bar, Kit Kat throughout the years. It's never had a freaking dash. No, I remember a dash. Everyone remembers a dash in Kit Kat. How is there no dash in Kit Kat? And it's just these little minor changes, you see, like they're, they're not that big. It's, it's just... It's just a chocolate bar, but it's not that. It's the fact that things are changing, and it's like, it's like messing with your head. Ugh. Next Mandela Effect, Monopoly. Everyone remembers the Monopoly man. Um, he's in a little suit with a money bag, but what makes him very distinguishable? What makes him the Monopoly man? If you go onto Google, if you see people dressed up as, mon as the Monopoly man for Halloween, they always, always, always have a little monocle, a little glass monocle. Do you remember them? Do you remember him having a monocle? Because I sure do. You Google Monopoly now, you Google, you Google vintage Monopoly, Monopoly through the years. He's never had a monocle. Yes, he has. That's what makes the Monopoly man the Monopoly man. That's what makes him famous. That's, a, what, that's what he's known for. How does he not have a monocle now? Or ever. He never had a monocle. Star Wars. Everyone remembers Darth Vader and Luke's scene where he says, Luke, I am your father. And you play it now. He never says Luke. He just says, I am your father. He told me you killed him. No. I am your father. And that really like blew my mind because I I have seen that movie a lot of times and I clearly remember him saying, Luke, I am your father. I asked my uncle and he's like one of the biggest Star Wars freaks I know. He remembers it, I am your father. He doesn't remember it saying Luke. He says that in this case, people have just like switched up words and just like throughout the years it has changed but it has never been Luke I am your father but so many people remember it as that like I remember watching it and seeing or hearing Luke I am your father so I don't know like some people can see it some people can't I guess another one for a movie would be Snow White where the the queen says mirror mirror on the wall who's the fairest of them all here's the clip of what she really says queen. magic mirror on the wall who is the fairest one of all? She never says mirror, mirror. And I remember her saying mirror, mirror. I have seen that movie so many times. I grew up with it. I remember mirror, mirror. And also, if it was never mirror, mirror, why have they made that like her slogan? Everywhere you go where there's Snow White or where it involves the evil queen, it Every memorabilia always says mirror mirror. If it has never if she never said mirror mirror, why are they making this up? Why are they putting this on t-shirts, on stickers, on mugs, on everything? It's always said mirror mirror on the wall. But it apparently has never been said that way. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, and then in Forrest Gump, we all remember the scene where he's on the bench and he says, Life is like a box of chocolates. This is what he really says. My mom always said, life was like a box of chocolates. Life was 
like a box of chocolates how come i don't remember it like was and no one else remembers it as was again with the same thing as snow white and even star wars all this memorabilia has been made because of this movie and on it on everything on t-shirts mugs everything it's always life is like a box of chocolates it has never been life was I don't understand how these things can change because these things have been in movies like how do things in movies change I don't I don't get it and again they're little minor changes but it's those changes that really mess with your head okay next one is Febreze everyone knows Febreze everyone probably owns Febreze I have a Febreze bottle over there Febreze I've always remembered it being spelled Febreze Febreze, like breeze as in the air breeze. It has never been spelled breeze. It's B R E Z E. Febreze. No, it has always been Febreze. Like that's that's even like that's what they're known for. Like breezy, like uh, like that's the scent that's gonna go around. Febreze, and it has never been spelled Febreze. Oh, these little things, guys. It really makes me mad. It really does. It really does. Oh. Another one guys, white out, white out. It's the liquid um, or like the little strip tape thing. It comes in different ways, white out. You white out like when you make a mistake, right? It's the color white, white out. It's always been spelled W-H-I-T-E, like white. Go into your freaking office, go look for some white out. This is how it's spelled, W-I-T-E. No, it it's clearly in the name white out because it's white white out isn't in different colors It's in white. Why is it spelled w-i-t-e? No, it's always been spelled white out It's white Ah, This gets me so like angry like it's white out white out This parallel universe is messing with my head and I'm not happy right now all right, I think that's all I can think of right now. There are so many more of these Mandela effects. Go online, Google it, do your research, and then come back and give me your opinion on it. I want to know what you guys think. If there's some that I missed, please go ahead and comment them down below. Let me know. We can talk about it. This stuff is just like so crazy. I love talking about it. I love researching it. It's like crazy to me that these minor changes that happened I don't know when because I, I mean you can't really prove that there's parallel universes but you can believe it or you can't and I believe it and these minor changes that have happened have just messed with all of our lives and it's crazy because these little things are always going to be popping up a, a month ago it was spelled this way or a month ago I remember it being this way why is it not this way anymore like they're just popping up here and there and I think they're going to continue to do that in the future and it might become even more prominent in the future people are going to be really believing in the Mandela effect I think it's going to get huge so that's it for my video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed this kind of video I would like to do more videos like this um, it was really fun for me to film because as I said I love to talk about this stuff so yeah if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I would love it very much. Other than that, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.